Shall we hit the hay? Not long now. Supreme Commander! Rosetta? I thought I ordered you to see to our defenses. Forgive me. But, there is something I would like to confirm with you. Yes? You once said if we were able to reactivate Garum, it wouldn't be used against the Resistance. Please tell me that is still true. King Jam and Princess Anne are among them, after all. That's former King and former Princess. Garum shall not be fired within our borders. However, if they flee to Sandland and continue to oppose us, that's a different story. You're telling me you still haven't found the Resistance? Flush them out and burn them to ashes! What are you doing here? I thought I ordered you to command the front lines, Epi. With Garum functional once more, we can now wipe out the Resistance with a single shot. Surely I don't need to trouble myself with something so prosaic. Remind me, which one of us is the commanding officer? Yes, yes. Very well, as you say. You spoiled little brat. The resistance is nearly here. All forces, prepare for battle! Plenty of stuff to explore. What's not to love? Exploring is well and good, but watch your step.
What... what is that? Huge doesn't even begin to describe it. The world's in serious trouble if something like that takes off. Visibility's poor. If you wander around without a plan here, you're just asking to get lost. If you think you've gotten turned around, might be a good idea to keep referring to the map to check which way to go. Yeah, have to know where you are to get where you're going. Ready, be gone. Let's get moving. It can't be! It can't be! It can't be! It can't be. Visibility's poor. You wander around without a plan here, you're just asking to get lost. <gasps> Incompetence around me! Hey, it's Half Stash! Who said that? You thumb and burning thumb! Bad enough that I should have to do the bidding of Bread Nepo, baby. But now my delicate dust is assaulted at every turn by the likes of you. <laughs> Too slow! Woo -hoo. I'm... Are you serious? He's got lasers now? Got no choice but to dodge him for now. Prince, I can't lend you a hand right now. Get him, Prince! Be on guard, Prince! Damn it! This 
those weapons rested! Remember to keep your cool. What was 
going on with half stash? I don't know, but stay vigilant. No telling what he's up to. Resistance is fighting bravely, but they're desperately outnumbered. They won't last long. We have to keep them from activating Garin. It's our only hope. They are fully committed. I only hope it's not all in vain. It won't be. We'll make sure of that. It can't be! It can't be! Like humanity's foolishness. I can't argue there. There's nobody left but her. Rosetta. Surrender now, Anne. The Supreme Commander is preparing to activate Garm as we speak. You have no hope of victory. Lay down your weapon, and I might put in a good word with Fa- The Supreme Commander. You should know I'm too stubborn to change. That's true. The Anne that I know is stubborn, a sore loser, and a crybaby. You never would go easy on me back when we'd play games together. Oh, I would. You were just so weak that you still lost. Well, not anymore. We'll find out. Hope you're not expecting me to start going easy on you now! We're here to stop 
you, Rosetta. You yeah. and your father both! Seems to me that you have forgotten that you haven't won against me even once! And you've forgotten you're out of minions to hide behind! Look you out of tough. So this is the extent of your strength. Your father for crying out loud. Why aren't you doing something to stop him? Oh, I would if I thought he was wrong. You would actually justify the invasion of a sovereign nation? Sandland is a country that is ruled by a depraved monarch, enthralled to corrupting demons. All Supreme Commander Bread seeks is to save its people from their oppressors. That's nonsense. There's no way to run! Attack! Get him, Prince! Even if Red's motivations are as pure as you claim they are, absolute power corrupts absolute Absolutely. And I'll be there to correct my father's mistakes. Enough of this. Stand down. Afraid I can't do that. If you want to get past, it will have to be over my dead body. <sighs> Bielz? I'm grateful for your long lifespan, fiend. It will give me the chance to kill you in my next life. Let's go. Rosetta.
Damn it. Freaking fiends. Oh, la la. What a pity. Happy. What are you doing here? No, never mind. That doesn't matter. After them. You have to... Such agitation. I'll help you relax for a very long time. This is no time for games! Epi... You... I'll give you a glorious death in battle to expunge the dishonor of your defeat. You'd prefer that to getting a lecture from your father, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Got to move. Watch the burning. <laughs> uh, uh, you got this. Counting. Uh, uh, what? I will eliminate you. What? Take that. Uh, uh, What's wrong? Still worried about General Rosetta? Well, Prince did serve her one hell of a flick. Nah, I went easy on her. She'll have come to by now. Yeah, I guess so. Control the entire world! And yours truly has risen to the post of second in command! Now no one in the world can defy me! <laughs> It. How dare those worms put up such a fight? That does it. Soldiers, ready the main cannon! Target our lower ports! 
The main cannon? That hasn't been tested yet. Just fire the cannon. Your king demands it. Y yes, sir. Preparing to fire main cannon. Powering up. The main cannon? That damn Mumio. Has he lost his mind? Energy at maximum! Initiating countdown! 30 seconds! Rosetta! That light! That's Aquadium! 17! 16! Why, Munio? We can't fire Garum on our own territory! I don't remember making any such promise. Besides, justice requires sacrifices. Like when we imprisoned King Jam. You didn't protest then. Princess! Thank goodness, all four of you made it back safely. If the cannon was aimed towards us, we wouldn't have made it. And the others? We lost many of us in that attack. Um, uh, Mr. Rao, who is that in your car? General Rosetta. What? Longo, I can explain. Hmm. I won't ask further, but I will inform King Jam. First, we should see to her wounds. How is she? I've done what I can. Now. The rest is up to her. Look after her. Please. I will.
Does it look like Rosetta will pull through? I don't know. Bien says it depends on her strength. Then you can count on her making it. She's always been a tough girl, after all. Perhaps we can get some useful information from her, once she wakes. Are you going to keep fighting? I've been thinking. Maybe you could take shelter in Spino instead. And just throw away everything we've worked for? I'm not saying we don't stand a chance. But we've lost so many allies already. Even so, I'm afraid that running away from here is the one thing I cannot do. Why not? If I abandoned my people and homeland, what kind of king would I be? Besides, we still have allies here, and I'm sure that even more will come back. Ten years I've kept them waiting. It's only fair that I wait for a time, too. But Fred and his troops already know where you are! They could obliterate this entire region if they fire Garim's main cannon at you! That only makes it all the more important that I not leave. As long as I'm here, Supreme Commander Bred might hesitate to fire on this location. Even during those long years he kept me imprisoned, he always treated me with total respect. But, Father! Anne, every person born on this planet has a duty they must fulfill. Mine is to be a stout tree under which all those seeking refuge here can find shelter. Now, you must go fulfill your own. My duty? But... I don't even know what that is. Just listen to your heart, Anne. That is where you're sure to find your answer. That's my girl. Go on. King Jam is a truly wise ruler. <laughs> He's got nothing on the King of Demons. It's odd. I've been at war my whole childhood. I should remember all the scared and lonely times here. Yet somehow, all my memories of this place are happy ones. Strange, huh? Wonder why. <sighs> I am going to fight. My father said that he would stay here and protect everyone who supported him. That's why I want to be a beacon of hope for all of those who protected me. I take it you found your answer? Yeah. The two of them are truly the sword and shield of Forest Land. Uh, what? Uh, please, don't make me spell it out for you. Guess I'll never know. In that case, we must return to Sandland. We have to stop Brad at all costs, and we'll need the Royal Army's help for that. And that told Munio, too. And we have to rescue the King of Demons. Oh. Prince, you didn't forget about that, did you? No, 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 of course not! Anyhow, let's get going. Ta-da! 
Why am I here, you ask? Well, if it's something rare, I'll be there. Lassie shows up anywhere. Bring me any rare items you find. I'll make it worth your while. Thank you. Hey! Good. I will be back, Father. Longo. Anne. Rosetta! You... can't leave. If the Resistance flees to Sandland, Father said, he'll wipe you out with Garum. Dread will attack anyway. Whether we go or not. No. That's not what my father wants. Come on, Rosetta. You really believe him? He is... not a bad man. He's just... very lonely. I'm sorry, Rosetta. W wait I'm going too. Take me with you. We can't let you go before you answer some questions. Tell me, why do you want to go with Anne? I just want more time. Time? I should have died back at the Masala dig site. But that tyke didn't finish me off. Who you 
calling a tyke. Anne told me. All we really needed was to take the time to talk to each other. Now, I think I'm finally beginning to see what she meant. Hmm. I'd like to know what you think, Beelzebub. Why are you asking me? Because both you and Anne are the ones who changed Rosetta. I don't care. She can do whatever she wants. And what do you think, Anne? Hmm. I want her... to come with me. Thanks. You know how the saying goes. Put water on an old fire, but logs on a new one. Hmm. Very well. Let's let Ari know that we're going back to Spino. I'm not sure it's a great idea for me to go into town. Yeah, considering you shelled the place. Thief, why don't you lend her the Santa costume? No way! I'm not lending my favorite costume to a human. It's fine. I'll just try not to draw too much attention. Sorry for the wait. Ari says he's on his way here. In the meantime, let's ask around Spino to see how Sandland is doing. Can someone tell me why we're stopping here? To issue a demand of surrender to Sandland's king. Should he fail to comply, we will turn his capital to ash. You are letting them surrender? Oh, fine. Come on, move it! Set course for the demon village. We'll smash it to pieces! What? But the Supreme Commander ordered us to the capital. That can wait! We're pounding the demon village into the ground first! If we show the royal army Garum in action, surely they'll realize how futile resistance is. We stand by. Hm. Very well. Nothing wrong with saving the best for last. Uh, is everyone seeing this? <laughs> The Forest Land Army's gigantic battleship is floating over the dam! Damn it! So Garum's entered Sandland! I saw the news on TV. What do we do? We're gonna have to fight. But can we win? There's no way to know what a battle's outcome will be until it's fought. Huh? Hey, old man. Sorry, Mayor Tor. Will you please excuse us? Right. Woman's a Forest Land Army general! Not anymore. Rosetta's no longer our enemy. Right? I'm not sure. But at the moment, I don't have a gun to point at you, nor would I if I did. Let me assure you, for the time being, my priority is stopping my father. Do you really expect me to trust an enemy general? <sighs> hey, easy now. There's no way that your wound could have healed yet. 
And who do you think wounded me? Her brigade. I know how you feel, but she's not lying. The prince would know. Yeah, as far as I can tell, she doesn't have any bad intentions. <sighs> if you say so. Now, shall we talk about the Doomsday Weapon flying towards us as we speak? Where are you going? I don't want to invite undue suspicion by making you worry I'm spying on your war council. <clears throat> First, I'd like to hear everyone's thoughts. Do you think Brad would be willing to talk if we could get Rosetta to contact him? If he'd agree to a meeting, I'd speak with him in person. Even if I had to go alone and unarmed. If Brad were a man of reason, he would have listened to King Jam. That's a fair point. Maybe fighting is the only way. I just hope we can settle this without getting civilians of either country involved. If we draw out the battle with that flying fortress long enough, their Aquanium energy will have to run out at some point, right? That's true. But how are we supposed to survive long enough for that to happen? Well, uh... Realize you hadn't really thought this through, huh? I, I was just taking my time thinking of the best strategy. No. Our only option is to attack so swiftly that the enemy isn't given any time to think. What's that thing capable of? Its main cannon is unimaginably powerful. They could easily destroy the whole world if they wanted to. To make things worse, it's too high up for our tanks to hit. And even if they could, it's so massive that they wouldn't leave a dent. The only options I can think of are to take control of the command center or somehow immobilize it. Then how about we bust in there and kick their butts right now? We'd need an airplane to get up there. If only the Royal Army hadn't, uh, lost its cargo airship. And whose fault is that? In any case, a plane as slow as the cargo airship would end up riddled with holes before it got anywhere near Garum. Right. We need an airplane fast enough to dodge anti-air missiles. Come to think of it, how exactly did the Forest Land Army transport that Aquanium from the Endmill base? What do you mean? We used a radar device attuned to Aquanium to detect some at one of their bases. And as we were watching, it then zoomed to a distant location at an incredible speed. It might have been carried by an airplane. It had to be! It was moving in a straight line on the radar! Yes. Any form of ground transport would have been affected by the terrain. Only an airplane could pull that off. But where did it land? We didn't see it there at the Masala dig site. Rosetta would know. Let me ask her. Why don't you look chipper? Have you come up with a plan? That depends on your next answer. Are you saying you want my help? I won't ask you to fight. I just want to know where the Forest Land Army's airplane is. The airplane? Oh, I see. You know that's insane, right? You'll just be throwing your life away. It's the only way to stop your father. <laughs> It's at Vendor Base. Thank you, Rosetta. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Bread. I want to fly the airplane once we get it! Hey, no fear, Prince. I want to fly it. Now that you mention it, I've never gotten to pilot an airplane before. Ha! <laughs> Even the old man wants to give it a spin! Are you going to? No. I'll do what I can to distract them from the ground with my tank unit. In that case... Mind lending me a tank? 
Can't have too many decoys, right? Our tanks aren't easy to handle, you know. I'm used to not having things easy. I'll figure it out. Yep. some way for us to just take control of Garam without a fight? That would be ideal, but I just don't see how, with the tools we have available. Uh... You just want the chance to tinker with some crazy new bot, huh? You got me. You can find all sorts of things on the side roads here. never gets picked up, after all. Wait, how did all this stuff get there in the first place, then? Uh, fell from the sky, maybe? Arslan soldiers are pretty tough. I bet they train on the assumption that war could break out at any moment. That mindset alone might explain the difference in strength between them and the Royal Army. back there.
A gate. These must be ruins. further in. Should we head inside? There's treasure to be found in Forestland Geji Dragon's Dens, too! They look awfully similar, so I bet so. But let's find it quick and scram before the Geji comes home! Why you just waltzed right on in then? We'll have to use a bot. Won't the noise attract the Geji and provoke it to attack? to be found in Forestland Geji Dragon's Dens, too! They look awfully similar, so I bet so. But let's find it quick and scram before the Geji comes home! Hey, 
moving. You're in danger. Keep clear and attack from a distance. Starting to do something! Sorry, can't help right now. Keep moving! You're in danger! Dead. I don't know why you just waltzed right on in then. We'll have to use a bot. Won't the noise but attract the Geji and provoke it to attack? There's treasure to be found in fourth. And Geji Dragon's Dance, too! They look awfully similar, so I bet so. But let's find it quick and scram before the Geji comes home! I don't know why you just waltzed right on in then. We'll have to use a bot. Won't the noise attract the Geji and provoke it to attack?
don't have to engage every last enemy. Picking your battles to save energy when you can makes a huge difference. Fair enough. Don't want to be tired out for the fights we can't avoid if we want to stand a chance. Attack it from the bot, Prince! Get him, Prince! Arslan's soldiers are pretty tough. I bet they train on the assumption that war could break out at any moment. That mindset alone might explain the difference in strength between them and the Royal Army. Make sure not to go in so deep that you can't touch the bottom, Prince. they sunk either. It looks to me like they were originally built underwater. Okay. Greed. All the mechanisms used here are powered by water as well. So they harness the power of water, not electricity? Intriguing. I wonder if these ruins were a waypoint between the countries sometime in the distant past. I'm not so sure about that. I don't think national borders actually existed back then. Maybe the concept of countries didn't even exist back when these were built. 
But there's no way they could come and go with the Kraken around. They must have slipped past while it was sleeping, I guess. Or else... Arslan soldiers are pretty tough. I bet they train on... Everybody in Forestland have bots or something? I seriously doubt that. Bots are expensive to buy and maintain. Yeah. Normal people couldn't hope to afford them. Only the army and the rich. This is bad! My bots! seems to have more developed military technology. One upside of the Royal Army's Iron Fist is that it didn't need to fight many actual wars. Only a small fraction of the Royal Army was dedicated to making technological advancements. of ironic that it takes war to push forward technology. soldiers hanging around over there. We don't want to be seen. That said, we can't always evade them. Great! Charging right at them is more my style!
Visibility's poor. If you wander around without a plan here, you're just asking to get lost. If you think you've gotten turned around, might be a good idea to keep referring... Well, what's our plan? If you need hairspray, I'm armed to the teeth with it. Don't think creating a diversion will help us this time. So we smash our way through head on? Isn't that a bit reckless, even for us? Go ahead and sneak in if you're chicken. I will. Us guys are going through the front, right? What the heck? You all stink! <laughs> Too scared to face me, huh? An insect man? <laughs> like one measly insect man's gonna stop me. Maybe Anne had the right idea. Probably shouldn't try to drive a bot around inside the base. Here we go.
Here we go. Whoop. So this is an airplane, I guess. Will it really fly? Hey, Prince, sorry for the wait. You guys left before me and I still got here first? Slowpokes. I got here before all of you, actually. Wait, you got caught? No, I was searching the cells and the door locked closed behind me. Sheesh. Talk about deja vu. Thanks. So, let me get this ready. There we go. All done. All right, let's go now. Surrounded. Because you gave us away with your yelling! Shut up! Just get in! Prince! Hold on tight, everyone! No heed to our demand of surrender. Defiant to the bitter end. Leave us with no choice at all. Hold the gun. Target their front line. Thank you for trusting your back to an enemy, General. Father. Well, well. Looks like someone is trying to play hero. 
Supreme Commander! Someone there! It's... Rosetta! What is she? Abort! Cease fire now! It's too late! We can't stop her from firing now! <clears throat> Not over yet. We need to keep the diversion going. Beelzebub and the others should be en route to Garm as we speak. Understood. Our sensors are picking up something. Its thermal signature it matches that of our own high speed plane. The Resistance must have hijacked it! Quick! Turn this thing around! We're going to swat this fly! We got spotted. They'll shoot us full of holes in no time! Let's lose altitude, Prince! altitude and get it as close as you can to Gara. It's a dangerous terrain. Don't get too close to the rocks. Look where you're going! All the rocks ahead, Prince! I'm getting the hang of this! Flashes before my eyes every time you take the wheel, Prince. Uh, they're catching up! No time to engage. Take them, Prince! You got it! Military aircraft can take a beating, but don't get reckless. You did it, Prince. I knew you could. All right. One to go. Already? I've had it with air travel, Prince. You clods! What? Can't you take down a single plane? Here, I'll blow them out of the sky. You can't. The cannon needs time to reload. Ready the cannon! I don't care if it's not at max power yet! Just kill that fiend! We're only going to take heavier fire the closer we get. Brace yourself! Bad news. Massive attack. 
attack incoming! Brace yourself! They can Fire! This is bad. If that hits us, it's game over! We supposed to get off this contraption without a plane? It's a whole flying fortress. Surely there's some escape pods. Basically, we'll figure it all out later. Don't worry. So, let's get wrecking. Hey, what are you doing? I'll handle this traitor myself. I trust you have no objections. That was close. No turning back. It ends here. Everyone's always so happy to see us. I'm in a hurry here! Here we go! There are so many bots. We have to stop them now. It's yeah, all right. right. Get them. Take that. <laughs> that was nothing. So far, so good. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs>
way up. If I fall... <laughs> Control panel? Yeah. Gotta save it for later. Bad guys first. Control panel? Button mashing time! my grip. Is the Aquanium causing this? Such a powerful energy source. It could do so much good put to better Here uses.
There's more of them. Here too? Be nice if I could catch my breath. Like I can get on and keep going. Everything they've got. We must be getting close.
me pass, huh? Sorry, but I'm going through it. You can't stop me. Just up ahead. We can't lose this fight. Let's make sure that we're prepared. Bomb! I think a battle bot could deliver that payload. Nice field! Keep going! I've got this. I wasn't sure you'd make it. You getting the jitters now? Do I look scared? Guess not. Glad that's clear. Red! Don't bother, Anne. But I made a promise to Rosetta! Not gonna have a change of heart. Gotta strike it down. It seems you understand me well. But then again, you can be I don't 
don't need to just figure out something that obvious. Not that I've ever been able to read what's in your heart. What? Oh, of course. It must be because I lost it long ago. Nothing matters to me anymore. Nothing except my country forest land. And I swear, I will exterminate any threat, be it Sandland or Fiend Kai! Fiend Prince, why do you lend these humans your strength? Take vengeance for your kin? Or has that old legend so rubbed off on you that you've discovered a sense of justice? Don't make me think! You're the only one pretending to be on the side of justice! Pretending? An amoral being's body cannot even conceive of the greater good. Dares to reproach me? Shut up! Fancy words don't make you better than me! Prince, if you don't understand what he's saying, you're kind of proving his point. I can't even read this guy's mind! Why would his words make any more sense? If anyone can defeat that, it's Prince! The bot is completely defenseless while it's firing the laser! Dodge it and strike back with all you have! It looks like it's gearing up for a powerful attack. I'll grind you to dust! No going back now! Enough of this! Surrender at once! Nonsense! I gave up now! The last ten years would have been for nothing! I have already lost half of my body to battle. And ruined any trust my beloved king ever had in me! All for four. It is far too late for me to change course now! Come on, you can fly? It's really bad. I don't see how we can possibly stop it. When he starts flying, you've got to boost away from him to safety. For its size, it's surprisingly swift and responsive. But we're going to have to predict its trajectory. No going back now! Looks like we're in for a fight. I don't give up that easy. I don't give up that easy. Turned my heart to stone and shattered it to pieces, all for my country. How cruel that now even my body will be smashed apart by this accursed fiend. No, perhaps losing everything is exactly what I deserve. Can you stop with the pity party? Bread? How exactly do you think we even made it this far? It was Rosetta. She told us where the airplane was. So she betrayed military secrets to the enemy. She was deeply conflicted over it. But the reason she ultimately did it was to stop you. 
She wanted to save you from the self-destructive spiral! That's what you call standing in the way of Garum's cannon to protect the enemy. If that's not treachery, what is? It was you she wanted to protect, not the royal army. She was trying to save your soul. She staked her life on it. You're saying she... That's what I choose to believe, at least. I can't claim to truly know the heart of another person. Reading minds is Fiend's territory, after all. I know that Rosetta has so much she wants to tell you. But after all I've done, how can I possibly face her now? How about... as her father? Aren't there things you want to tell your father too, Prince? Sh shut up! Let's go beat that angel and get this over with. Munio is in the control room. Why are you ratting him out? Isn't that treachery? You made me curious to see what it feels like. Surely a fiend is in no position to judge me for that. Behold! Isn't the world the Divine One created simply beautiful? Or rather, it was, until the humans defiled it! Deceived by you nasty demons, they fell further and further from grace. It is us angels' duty to bring the humans back to the light and vanquish the demons responsible for... I'm 
I'm in the middle of a speech here! Your fault for getting so wrapped up in spouting garbage. I shouldn't have expected any better from a fiend. Lucifer was exactly the same. He wouldn't listen to a single word. Just tore off my beautiful wings as I begged him not to. I'm not surprised a rotten apple like you hasn't fallen far from the tree. Like I care. Enough talking. Let's rumble. You want to fight? You've got one. Let's settle this with just our fists. Time to see which one of us is stronger once and for all. <clears throat> you impudent brat. I'll teach you just how much stronger angels are than fiends! to make you and yours face divine judgment, as the Lord wills! The only judgment here will be my fist in your face! It's time to go crawling back to Sky Daddy, you chunks! Uh, so with it! Take that! Just hand over the urn of sealing and go back to the celestial realm. I'll forgive you. You, you forgive me? I'm an angel. It can't end like this. I just need more power. I hate to admit it, Beelzebub, but you are indeed strong. Thing is. Much stronger! What? What's happening? The, the Aquanium energy! It's being rapidly depleted! The Aquanium furnace malfunctioning? I can't tell, but at this rate, we'll lose control of Garum! Seriously? So much to be waiting for. 
Killing this once and for all. Using a cranium to buff yourself in a fight is not fair. Yes, we need to use bots. We can't beat him if you keep clinging to your pride. doing is right? But of course. The divine one is perfect. And as his child, so am I. 
might claim he's bad to the bone, but your self-righteousness is truly evil. How tedious. I shouldn't have expected a foolish human like you to understand. It's up to me. You will eat it. To guide you back to the hey, rat with wings. <laughs> Said your prayers yet? No. You're alive. Oh. Like I'd let an angel be more evil. Isn't that? There were two urns. Ah! King Lucifer's inside of it! We're talking about my dad here. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> this is no time for laughter. Garum's gaining altitude. So what do we do? Get to the control room. Take back control of the ship! Okay, you handle that. Thief and I will look for a good escape route. Escape at once, Princess. Was everything I believed in wrong all along? Well, um, I personally think you were very misguided. <sighs> it's no use! The whole place is falling apart before our eyes! You're ascending too fast now! No use! I've lost all control over it! The Aquadium's gonna explode any moment now! Abandon ship! There's nothing else we can do! Use the escape pods by the command center! Go on, now! Supreme Commander! We've been waiting! What? The bees are... It's fine. Let every one of them onto an escape pod. Yes, sir. But, Commander, the pod only fits five. Uh, there's six of us. Can't we all fit if we squeeze in? Uh, sorry, ma'am, but that's a safety hazard. It, it could put you all in danger. It's fine. I'll stay. Don't worry, I'm a fiend. I'm afraid I can't allow that. If anyone should stay, it's me. I started this. I'll stay and see it through to the end. Quit brooding and get in the pond! The elves! What? I said I'll survive. Don't trust the word of a fiend. I do, more than anything.
All right, then. As much as it bugs me, I'll save that angel corp, too. I'm not gonna lie, that hurt. I can barely even walk. Still alive, huh? Here, stand up. I... <clears throat> Shoot. I still don't have my strength back. You need a hand? Why are you here? We made it this far together. Why would we separate now? I second that. I mean, I appreciate it. But how are we gonna get down? You can take us. Can't you just fly us all down there? I can't fly! What? But you're a fiend! Can't they all fly? You're a half-fiend, can you fly? Oh, then what do we do? Heck if I know. Wait! Luckily, I've got just the thing. Oh, I see! They're the floaty tablets I got from the Peachy. Okay, everyone hold out your hands. Once you swallow these, you'll be able to float for ten seconds. So make sure to take them right before you're about to go splat. I'm not sure this will be as easy as you make it sound. Than staying on until we reach space or explode, right? Um, okay. Then I. I'll go first! This is going to take a miracle, but it's our only option. Thief, your turn. Oh, me? Well, I. Oh, hurry up! Wait, guess that bratty angel can't fly without his wings, huh? Here we go! One floaty tablet left? What do I do? Oh, hold on. He can't swallow one while he's knocked out. Well, okay. Guess I gotta take it and make this work somehow. to get out of the jar on your own? No. As luck would have it, the urn smashed against a rock. Lucky for me, too. You saved me from a rough landing. Oh, that was me. Big sis? Big sister to you. Ow. <laughs> hey, everyone! Prince, you, you had us worried you were up there for so long. 
You all made it safely. I told you the tablets would work. <laughs> Those things didn't help us at all. Getting the timing right is impossible. We all chickened out and took the tablets too soon. So they wore off when we were still high up. But before we crashed, some strange power saved us. It looks like your family actually came to our rescue. Ah, saved me too. You must be... my mom? But how? I thought Munio killed you! <laughs> there were two urns of sealing. I was in the other. You really think some second-rate angel could have defeated me without one of those? Oh, I see. Run up so much. And your father? My father? He's fine. Thank goodness. So this is your daughter Lilith? Yes. Uh, pleased to meet you, Grandpa. I'm Anne, sir. Grandpa! Never refer to me by this undignified form of address again. I am Lucifer, the King of Demons. Uh, your Majesty! <sighs> Queen Lilith and Princess Anne, I deeply regret what I did 10 years ago. I was wrong about fiends and harmed you and many others in my ignorance. The people of our nation are the ones who deserve an apology. You should be saying this to them, not me. As you say, Your Majesty, I will accept any punishment for my crimes, be it prison or death, without complaint. <laughs> any punishment? In that case, how about I wipe Forest Land off the map in five seconds flat? Eh? He's joking, Bread but mend your warmongering ways. Use your talents for the pursuit of peace. Uh, oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. Peace. The very concept makes me feel ill. Um, King Lucifer, what shall we do with the angel? <sighs> I will inform the archangels and have them come pick him up. He'll be in for it then. <laughs> Serves him right. Guys, you see this? It's raining! W well, I'll be. It's the Aquanium at work. It took 30 years, but it's being used as the Peachy intended. Finally. By the way, human, what was your name again? Oh, uh, are you asking me? It's Rao, sir. Well, Rao. You've done well in the role of Beelzebub and Thief's leader. You're a credit to your species. If you like, we have a place for you at Demon Village. Thank you, I'm honored. But I don't intend to turn in my sheriff's badge quite yet. After all this, you'll return to being a humble sheriff. I like you, Rao. Here, have a treasure chest. Huh. Dad! I was wondering if I can play games for two hours a day now. Maybe? Don't I... push your luck. Practicing your flying would be a far better use of your time. R right!
and so rain fell on Sandland for the first time in decades, bringing with it many changes. In Forestland, the people welcome the return of King Jam. Sandland and Forestland signed an official peace treaty with each other. Normalizing relations and finally putting an end to their long war. King Jam charged Bread and Rosetta with repairing the rift between humans and demons to prevent further misunderstandings. As for Munior, back in the celestial world, <laughs> this is not fair, divine one. Why do I have to sweep the storehouse for a thousand years? Beelzebub and his friends, on the other hand... <laughs> oh man, I couldn't ask for a smoother ride! Prince, surely it has to be my turn to drive by now! What? No! You're an awful driver! You guys never change, honestly. If it isn't Anne... Well, what you doing around here then? Just passing through. I can go wherever I like now. I gotta see the world to become a world-class mechanic. How about you? I'm headed off with the old man here to bring presents to the Peachy. Well now, that sounds like fun. By the way, what's with that box? Rao got it from Dad and it's brand new. Can you even believe it? No, I mean... What's wrong with it? Nothing. Oh? <laughs> hey, something smells funny. Prince, there's smoke coming from the engine! Ah! What'd you do, thief? How's it my fault? Yup. Saw this coming. What would you do without me? Okay, pull over. Let me fix it. in bad shape. Gonna need to take it to the garage in Spino to get it fixed up. Yeah! Spino is our next stop! Hmm. Well, I'll come with you. What about seeing the world? Oh. It's not like I'm in a hurry. Pretty sure hanging around you guys will give my skills a better workout than seeing the world could. Okay. Then it's settled! It's road trip time!